Oh, welcome to some Metal Gear Solid 3. I have been wanting to play this since I started the Metal Gear Solid series. I know more about this game. There's European Extreme now? What the hell? <laughs> We're gonna try this in hard. I actually know a ton about this After game. The end of World War II, the so world we're gonna try this in hard. Two, east and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. East and West. This marked the era beginning called the Cold War. Oh! Baby, let's go! Let's go, man. David Hoider! Ho 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 ho! Brother, dude, I have not played this game in a little over five or six years now. Which is disgraceful! A game like this needs to be enjoyed like fine wine. This is a wonderful game. I love this game to death. This game is so legit. Oxygen hose to interior connector. D bag. Put on your mask. <laughs> he just doesn't Does care. He know what he's doing. Oh. Approaching release point. You want to fight, Ma? Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said, put out the cigar and put on your mask. <laughs> Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, fuck you. The tinglies. The tinglies. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. Oh. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay. All green. I think you can like. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Try these triangle now. It's no longer R1 or L1. It's triangle. One. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. No God, where we're going, buddy. You don't want anything to do with this. That looks incredibly fun, but I'm terrified of heights. I could never do that. Maybe. Maybe maybe for a sub goal at some Jack, point. I've got some important for YouTube. News. The head of the CIA has finally given us something the to think about for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission. No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, 
About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West. Sokolov! Moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov, isn't he that famous rocket scientist? Mm -hmm. The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned spaceflight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. That's right. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established design bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story. So hmm. why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets ah. were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead, of placing not. their armed forces on secondary <clears throat> alert. So Everyone's trying to be first. Carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US hate him but you can't blame him alert for an all-out nuclear war frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's emergency security council and unofficial channels there he is and the hair trigger standoff finally on October the 28th the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba and so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust but in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out we had to make a deal you mm -hmm. mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. Hmm. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. Christ almighty. What the hell was he working on? Yeah, really? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov Wonder or indeed. risk full-scale nuclear Foreshadowing. Weapons. In the end, we had no choice. Oh, I see it. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's... I I've played the ever-living crap the out of this day, game. I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my side. That's awful. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. Okay. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. Hmm. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at Semipalatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No, according to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a 
place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. Hmm. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. <laughs> they moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh wait, is it triangle? Try triangle. It's not the action button. Listen up, Jack. Your mission yeah, is to R1. infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains. Ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. Bug, look around. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, We'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. Tick tock. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Hmm. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? Hmm. She's equipped with two six barrel 20 millimeter Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40 millimeter machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. That's right. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Right. That's right, my backpack. Right, you can change your face paint too. Gosh, there's so much about this game, man. Do you copy? You're My. already in enemy yeah. territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Mm -hmm. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. <laughs> what about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. 
You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. Mm -hmm. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. <laughs> I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to find... Uh, I'm not gonna listen to that. I'm not gonna listen to that, I'm sorry. I... Here we go, man. I haven't seen this in forever, man. Oh, wait, am I supposed to like... Is this the tutorial? I think this is the tutorial. Oh, no, it's not. so much <laughs> yeah buddy that's right boy <laughs> I gotta procure my backpack Oh, dude, it's been so long since I've had a camera that can move, like, my god in heaven almighty, dude. My backpack! Oh my gosh, dude. Heck yeah. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip. Oh, I, I'm not going to listen to this. I'm sorry. Just the, talking about the medic and stuff, and then boss. The boss is here as well. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Got you. Commencing virtuous mission now. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. I start with the trank gun. <laughs> what works best here? It's... Oh, cool. It even says... Um, let's say... What do we get? Out? We're at 30 for leaf? No, no, no. Yeah. Is that a thing? Hold on. Is that here yet? When do the frogs start? Um, hold on. Start. Disgusting. Hey, snake eater! Hey, that's tasty. Oh, what? 
Alright, hold on. So I know each area has a Kryogre frog, so let's try to get these frogs. Man, it's been so long. Man, I used to know where exactly where they were. There it is. Hi, little buddy. I see you. Oh, yeah. Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Man, oh, man. That brings back some memories, baby. Let's go. Bug juice. I don't think I have a way to kill these things yet. Oh, wait, no, I got the knife. Let's see something. Hold on. There it goes. Yes, sir. Not too bad. If you remember where that dumb frog is, then we can get out of here. Jesus. I thought it was back here, but maybe I'm wrong.
the hell is that little bugger at? Oh, here you go. Here you go, bud. <laughs> the hell is that damn frog at, man? You know what? Maybe it is further ahead. You know, there it is. I actually see it. I see it from here. I can actually see it. I visibly see it. Hey, little buddy. I missed. That's how you get stealth camo. There we go. Oh, cutscene. Whatever. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. <laughs> we can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission oh, depends can... on how well you use your camouflage. I think, um... Change your camouflage. I don't... I, this is another tutorial. I'm gonna skip this, guys. Actually, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna end this video here. If you guys like it, that like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!